Good day, everyone. Today, this morning, I'd like to give you a few of my thoughts on after the live stream. And uh, I do want to give a little bit of a short explanation in terms of symbology and what we must understand. And for all those who are new, who have just joined, I would suggest you go through every video that is on this channel for you to understand what the information is about and so that you will be able to grasp that the live stream video, the commentary in it, is related to the information and the knowledge basis that comes from this channel originally. So if there's anything that you are not familiar with or you feel unsure of, please go through all of the videos. There's a lot of them and I always suggest to everyone just pick one that you feel you want to look at. There is no specific place to start unless you would like to start then start in the video section that is about knowledge um, and then the universal laws from there. But please I would urge you to please look at all the other videos as well. They are old but they are also related to whenever you are watching things in the immediate, so there is no time limit to it. They are all e eternal in their creation. So, for, for the next thing I would like to bring to your attention is that thing that I mentioned in the live stream, the chat, about Baphomet, and I want to just give, for those who may not understand, Baphomet is a symbol that was weaponized using the natural or nature uh, archetypes and infused to create another um, element. That is alchemy. Initially, the origin of Baphomet was mentioned or was or came to being during the Crusades. Um, era during the Templars Crusades and so that symbol that they had used um, you will see that this is going to be a deconstructing of it just so that you understand what it means in relation to how people manipulate symbols so that it becomes something completely different. It is the same as information that is manipulated and people misread it or misunderstand it, its process. This does not mean that it negates what um, people have done with it. Um, so it is the same thing as, for example, the symbols of nature elements, beings, Egyptian um, be, uh, beliefs in, for example, uh, birds, eagles, um, jackals, dogs frogs, etc. All these things are natural elements that have been used and manipulated to be weaponized so that you will understand a different idea about it. And that is part of the control in how people are falling into that belief system. This is why I'm always saying on this channel, do not believe in anything. Uh, know, know the knowledge. Be aware that you are um, exploring information and learning about it and that you know information, you know things, you don't want to believe in something, otherwise it means you can, be belie you can believe in anything. You have to be convinced that when you connect with Great Spirit within you, that you feel the presence of Great Spirit. You use all your senses. The sixth sense, that is the muscle that may have to be exercised more so that you can become more whole in your um, existence for your personal self. And Great Spirit is, as I've said before, a name that I've given the supreme force that exists within and around us and is uh, operating in this universe, in this particular one. Universe is one verse or one word and that is why this universe or universe is one word 
existence. In other words, it references to the creator force of Great Spirit, where there is mentioned, in the beginning, the word was. And that is what that means. That is why the reference is related to Great Spirit as this universal being. Yes, there are other universes. There are multiverses. And many of them are overlapping with each other along with this verse. So it's like you're taking a rock and you're throwing it into a pond and the rings that come out of that is part of the um, action or the presence, presence of one word that literally touches everyone else in the same way. And so the multiverses or those dimensional verses or the intra-dimensions and the inter-dimensions and the multi-dimensions that are all related to one original place okay so the information about Baphomet is quite interesting because there's a lot of fear that is related to that element that symbol it's being used in on uh, at an airport in the States I think it's not, not sure exactly where but please you can google it and you'll find it um, it's on the walls so the origin of the symbol is really based on the discovery of John the Baptist's head and John the Baptist was very uh, was a very challenging person I would say I think it's someone who challenges the system and uh, they didn't like how he was bringing his, the information around. I'm sure that you can do a little bit of reading on your, on your on your own and find out about John the Baptist. You'll see that he was some sort of rebel um, in terms of the overall religion that was going around at the time. And because of that, he had his head cut, cut off. And his head was taken, it was discovered during the Crusades that they found where his tomb was and they took his head and they created the a natural, they, they embellished on the old pagan um, nature god which was called Cernunos. Cernunos um, was the nature god, the god with the hooves um, that or Pan and Pan is a being that is related to nature and uh, mixing up religion uh, which is John's head with nature creates a type of religious pagan type of fusion which is on an alch alchemical level I would say perhaps the intention was to bring about some sort of change in society, which is what they then did with that symbol. It is the same as taking the symbol of Saturn, for example, and making it into something that is manipulative and destructive, so that people will not believe or be in a place of what they used to believe, but believe in something else. And that is why I'm saying you need to be careful how you say you believe in things. Be convinced rather. Or know things. Knowledge is within you to know. Okay, so what I want to say to you, what the symbol actually means, is you have to break it up into parts. The god Pan mythology of nature is originally Greek, but it's even older than that, but the Greeks have called it that, have, have involved, um, have come in to call it Pan. This also represents the uh, birth of something in nature, which is related to um, creation. It is masculine and feminine. It has breasts and it has a penis. The Baphomet symbol has that and it shows that it has got masculine and feminine energy fused together. Now 
how is this used to weaponize an idea? It is used to create fear and, and wars around it. Look at why the Crusades took place in the first place. Why was there so much Christian wars taking place at the time? And then they decided to explore and go further on into their discoveries and manipulate it a bit more. It's all about the money. Really, the bottom line to change and manipulate anything is about what the other person will gain from it. It isn't the same process as people who look at information and they find that they are um, at odds with it and they feel upset about it and so they go and they create their own belief system or their own belief pattern or their own symbol so that they can worship that. And what is different about um, how it is used is unfortunately they have also used that specific symbol to create um, the monetary system originally. It is on the records if you go very very far back and there is a book that a person called Tracy Twyman has written about money uh, and I will put the link on this channel. I will link it there for you to find the book. Please read there as well. Um, so the understanding about Baphomet and the horns of the goat the goat represents Capricorn, which is the astrological uh, element that relates to Saturn. Okay, Saturn is the planet, and the negative into influence or the information on what Saturn is. And then they found recordings of bad things on the planet, and then they found this, and then they said that, and then it, then they said. That the planet creates evil and then the planet is evil and that's all negative information based on words based on what people want to believe people want to drive at a fear level to bring that information in and because they are upset about it <clears throat> excuse me so what I want to say to you is that be mindful what you look at, be mindful what you listen to, be mindful. Use discernment as always, as I say, discernment. The metaphysical reality is full of things that are manipulated from people. And this is why this channel is here, is to deconstruct and break all of that shit down. Because that is what it is. Some of that shit is created out of fear and anger and to cause chaos and sadness and pain and so what is important here for you to understand is for you to start learning to see that a pen is a pen it is not a weapon unless you want to use it as a weapon its metaphysical trait is it can be a weapon or it can be something creative you can use it to write beautiful words or you can use it to write ugly words. A pen is a pen. The pen is not the weapon. It is the hand that holds and the mind that holds the pen that can weaponize the pen. And that is why it's important to understand that in the same way your spiritual gifts, your ability to discern, and your mind and your spirit and your soul, these can be interfered with by others who are in that pattern to try and change things like I've said to, be, to you before you be, have to be mindful that the Ministry of Magic is super aware of everything all that's happening on the surface as you see it these are all just people running things for the Ministry of Magic Ministry of Magic doesn't exist as it is called the Ministry of Magic I'm calling them the Ministry of Magic because they use a lot of magic to manipulate the minds and on this channel the first thing that was very important to open up to share was that you understand that you that you have great spirit within you you don't need to have um, ma manipulate manipulation to take place to change you in any other way see they don't like to uh, have you change or challenge what they believe 
as a sit enemy or if you're telling them if you find out that the devil really isn't what it's being made out to be and that psychic abilities really belongs to everyone and that everyone exerts, exerts that psychic ability you don't need to have, go through a middleman or a master or a teacher or whatever to be able to have your own abilities uh, revealed to you you have it already within you I also referenced that the uh, out and out um, exploitation and weaponizing of the psychic abilities um, <clears throat> it was in reference to horns or psychic horns this comes from material that is very old it was written around the 40s when they have discovered that they had a person to observe on psychic level what the psychic ability looks like or the psychic energy looks like once you start to look into things and the person had said that they had seen that the once you start to become connected to your psychic work uh, and you start to do a psychic reading your energy starts to come out of your both sides which is your masculine and your feminine side so you use these abilities to come out in that way and so therefore they wanted to stop people from um, becoming aware that they have psychic abilities so they weaponized that as well saying that if you're psychic you must be from the devil and so that is why the story about the devil with the horns comes into play as well and so this is why it is important for us to become aware that there has been a lot of lies that have been given and 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 spread around so that we will not be able to um, go any further or explore in ourselves all of you we all have psychic abilities they don't like it when you acknowledge that your will is your free will and your free choice to do so so I'm leaving this with you guys um, like I said please go on to the other channel other other videos on the channel as well and please also go onto my website if you need to read more details if you want to go onto an exploratory um, journey please feel free and as always please ask questions um, I'm leaving this with you thank you so much much love bye